2 degrees Celsius. This is the goal of the Paris Climate Agreement, to keep the average global temperature from warming more than 2 degrees above pre-industrial levels. It's been about 200 years since the Industrial Revolution. In that time, ever-increasing amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere have helped heat the Earth more than halfway to that point. Let's take a closer look at the last 100 years. From 1920 to 1980, the global temperatures climbed about four-tenths of a degree Celsius. After 1980, that pace more than doubled. In just 40 years, the temperatures have climbed another seven-tenths of a degree. In three of the last five years, temperatures have crossed the 1.2 degree mark. Last year, we reached 1.27 degrees Celsius above late 19th century temperatures. We're dangerously accelerating toward that two degrees. And this is only a global average. Many locations around the planet have seen temperatures soar to much higher levels. Large parts of Europe, Greenland, Alaska, and Russia, including Siberia, have already surpassed two degrees. And up north, above the Arctic Circle, the warming is over four degrees. That extra heat concentrated in the Arctic well, that's causing a massive melt of polar ice, and it's only getting worse. On average, 14,000 tons of water melt from the Arctic every second. That's more than four times the amount of water that goes over Niagara Falls each second. If we stay on our course over the last 10 years, the Earth could hit the two degree mark as soon as 2040, and possibly up to three degrees by 2060. Only a significant reduction in carbon dioxide emissions quickly will make the Paris goal a reality. Climate scientists say surpassing that milestone will result in more frequent deadly heat waves, drought, and wildfires, making large areas of our planet uninhabitable. And sea levels are, quote, very likely to rise a foot by the end of the century and could rise by even as much as eight feet. That will likely make hurricanes more powerful, specifically unleashing flooding connected with dangerous storm surges, impacting hundreds of millions of people who live in coastal areas. Our road to two degrees is shortening. The time to act now. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.